Supernova Infinity, Challenger Jeff Fennec. in that first battle, Fennec threw a volume of punches at Azuma Nelson, but couldn't put him away. So you have to question his punching power, or is Nelson that difficult to put down? Well, I'll tell you who's got punching power, that's Azuma Nelson. That right hand can make you wave in the breeze, and then from those combinations. Also, keep an eye on the uppercut. Uh, the uppercut of Azuma Nelson, the thing of you. Fennec with the pressure. Azuma Nelson, a skillful boxer as well as ferocious puncher, punishing fighter, similar to Julio Cesar Chavez. He likes to accumulate. There's a right, oh. and down goes Fennec. And that's the right hand we talked about, that long right. The first time, the second time in his career, he's been down. He's never been knocked out. He's been put to the canvas only once, and that was early in his career. Keep your eyes on that right hand and the uppercut. There's the uppercut. What a stunning turn of events. Azuma Nelson is trying to finish Nel uh, Fennec off now in the final minute of the first round. Nelson predicted he would knock out Fennec inside seven. I didn't think he meant the first. I don't think he, think he thought he meant the first. It was just a perfect right hand. Final seconds of round one. Fennec looking to recharge. Nelson continues to unload. Nelson, 33, 2 and 1 with 24 knockouts. His only losses to Salvador Sanchez and Colonel Whitaker. Well conditioned and determined to come out of here with dignity and with respect. He said he wasn't in shape for the first fight, on top of the fact that he had malaria. Compounded by a chest infection, says he's okay now. Going to the midsection of Azuma Nelson, that gets a rise from the crowd. He said that emphatically, my hands are fine. There was speculation that he broke a hand after the first fight. Oh, he went down again! Oh, that same right hand, the same thing. A jab controlled him in the right hand, dropped him. And this crowd doesn't think it's a knockdown, but it was a knockdown. They thought it was a slip as Arthur County counts Jeff Fettick. That's the second knockdown for Azuma Nelson, final seconds of round two. That was a delayed reaction to the right hand. He does not know what to do with that right hand, and he better get some instruction in the corner. Now, keep your eye on that jab. Two, three, and there goes the right hand. Now, two, three, and the right hand again. Now, this one, this one was a punch that crumpled him down, but he did slip on some wet stuff. And the elbows of Azuma Nelson. Look at that uppercut. Savage uppercut by Azuma Nelson. Nelson measuring Fennec out, and it's Fennec against the ropes. And here comes Fennec fighting back off the ropes, but notice it's Fennec on the ropes, not Azuma Nelson. Oh, Fennec got tagged on the chin. Now he turns Nelson around. This crowd comes to life as Azuma Nelson looked at the referee saying, you're going to let him get away with that? Keep, your mind, keep in mind the uppercuts in here and what do the damage. Back comes Azuma Nelson, fighting from the ropes. And a return barrage from Fennec. Uppercut by Azuma Nelson. Fennec all over. Azuma Nelson. What an exchange. Less than a minute to go. Round three.
it's got his blood up and he just can't stop. He got hit again and he needs, he needs to zoom in Elson. That's a foul. Arthur Mercati, the third man of the ring out of Garden City, New York. 97th World Championship fight. He is used to these circumstances. by Nelson but not having damage. It's clear that as long as <laughs> heavy left hand by Fetter. And back comes Nelson with uppercut. What a weapon. Jeff Bennett, so fierce. The Budshaw style, forever forward. Did not seem to be affected by those two first knockdowns. Surprised him, but didn't hurt him. He is fighting with full force here. He's back to the ropes. A wild miss by Azuma. Before Bennett got cut in the first fight, but they healed him up pretty quickly, and it wasn't a factor. We'll see how it goes here. Looks like a mild abrasion. It's lumping up. His face is lumping up. Bennett, 27, six years younger. And Nelson with combination. Uppercut. That's a mark of uh, confidence on the part of the champion and experience. Look at that left hand of Azuma Nelson. Pop, pop, pop. Zuma Nelson sticking the jab, trying to set himself up for the run, but a sweeping left hook by Fennec. He cannot out jab Azuma Nelson, what's happening. He keeps getting hit with the right hand off that jab. The crowd reacting, but Azuma Nelson did keep it to that. That one snapped him back. A sharp right hand by Jeff Fennec. A straight right by Nelson. There he goes the mouthpiece of hey, Jeff Fennick. A roundhouse right by Jeff Fennick that sailed away. Sailed away and leaving him open to a counter right. And now another furious exchange, but no punches being landed. But it doesn't seem to have much effect on the chin of Azuma Nelson. There's a right hand by Nelson. Nelson told us he's got a face of rock, and I'm beginning to believe him. But now, a hard charging, Jeff Fennick. Now, McCanny breaking him, meaning that Fennick can't push him into the ropes where he wants him. In Las Vegas, he could push him into the ropes and continue to follow him. Here, they're getting broken up. Back at the Fennick's favorite corner. <laughs> With a oh, what a left hand by Azuma Nelson, a threatening left. Nelson's fighting from the corner. Oh, man. And he's got Fennec in trouble. Fennec's the attacker, and he's in trouble. A ferocious right hand by Azuma Nelson. champion in command. See knockout, the only blemish that June 28th draw was Azuma Nelson. In order to give him these rounds, when he does punch, he's a mile away. He's not effective from outside. Again and again, you come to the same equation. Get away from the middle of the ring and get on the ropes, Jeff. And he's not going. There's a right hand by Azuma Nelson, but at this point, the fans here will cheer almost anything. About 15 seconds left in the round. Good combination by Jeff Fennick.
And round seven in the book. Jeff Fedick has to do something. Look at these punches by Azuma Nelson. Fedick has got to fight back, but every time he fights back, he gets stung. That Azuma Nelson's making him pay the price when he comes in. To this point, Fedick overmatched. But he's trying to come back. Just Watch closely the hard work of the uppercuts here. Good hook by Azuma. Um, just an outrageous number of punches by Fennec. Most of them not landing, but some are building up points. And Fennec just mauling and brawling, trying to stay on top of Azuma Nelson. The infighting rages on. And that's exactly what Fennec wanted. That's a hook right there it is. Right there it is. And down goes Fennec for the third time of the fight. He was just waiting for the moment. That side of the face was so open. So open, Steve. He had to take advantage, and he did. Azuma Nelson to the attack. Wait a minute. Andre McKenney steps in, and it's all over. It's, it's all over. It's going to be in the towel, Steve. They threw in the towel, and it was all over. He said it was going to be over in round seven. He missed by one. Look out now. Some of the corner people getting into it. Azuma Nelson knocks out. Jeff Fennec here in the eighth round of the Fennec corner, throwing the towel. Shut up! Shut up! There's that heavy left by Azuma Nelson, followed up by the right, and that is all it took. A stunned Jeff Fennec, trying to get up, and then the towel came in. You saw Arthur Riccati starting the count. And then I believe he saw over his shoulder as Ferdy Pacheco did. I was watching the fight, but Ferdy saw the towel come flying in from the Fennec corner. It'll be coming up in just a couple of seconds. And you can see it from here as Johnny Lewis jumps into the ring and he said that was it. He didn't want to see his man take any more punishment. Took the student to school. That's right. I told them how to them. After now I knock him out, like I said before, I'll be the guy, and then after I beat him, I'll show him his mistakes. <laughs> uh, we have with us the game loser, Jeff Fennick. And uh, we were we we're saying that it's almost a professor teaching a student today because his left jab was so educated in the first round and caught you off guard. Yeah. Oh. I've never underestimated him. He's a great champion and he proved it tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Would you have done anything different? Um, uh, you know. Jeff, could you have driven him to the ropes like you did in Vegas and why didn't you? Um, I was happy in the middle of the ring. I, you know, he proved he's a great fight. I, I've never underestimated him. He's a great champion and he proved it tonight. You satisfied where you're at? Oh, I'm definitely happy. I, you know, I can make further way, but I'm happy. I, I was being my great chief, and I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff, for a very valiant performance. Ladies and gentlemen, in two minutes, 20 seconds of the eighth round, the winner by knockout, retaining the WBC Super Featherweight Champion, of the world, a Zuma Nelson. A Zuma Nelson winner by TKO, 220 of the eighth round.